Welcome to the town of Udine in northern Italy as a crowd of nearly 50,000 pays a farewell tribute to the great Brazilian Zico, a man who spent two years with the Udinese club during the illustrious career that elevated him to the status of world superstar. 800 club appearances in Brazil for Flamengo and around 500 goals and he scored more than 60 times for his country too. This is the Brazilian side that he plays with tonight. Some familiar faces in the lineup and some new ones too. In goal for Brazil will be Gilmar, who plays his club football in Portugal for Portier Nacional. Number two, Roberto, also from Portugal, Sporting Lisbon. Wearing number three, Moza from Benfica in Portugal. Ricardo of Benfica as well, Junior, famous name from the past, from Pescara in Italy, he wears five. Number six, Dunga, also from an Italian club, Fiorentina, so to Renato, number seven, from Roma. Silas plays for Sporting Lisbon, he wears number eight. Nine is Careca from Napoli in Italy. Ten, of course, the man himself, Zico, now back with Flamengo in Brazil. And wearing the number 11 shirt, Valdo, who plays his club football for Benfica in Portugal. Junior here, of course, one of the old guard, a veteran of previous World Cups, and a real favourite in Italy from his time with Torino, and now with Pescara. And this is the side that they'll be facing then, the rest of the world team. Some top names in there too, the Belgian captain, Michel Prudhomme in goal, number seven. Francesco Lee of Uruguay, a former South American Footballer of the Year. Deitari, the Hungarian, he'll be wearing number 14. And last year's South American Footballer of the Year from Colombia, Valderrama, number 15. A feast of quality football in prospect then. Join us again here after the Northern Italy. Zico, of course, in that famous number 10 shirt for Brazil. And it's the rest of the world side who kick off in their all-white strip, attacking the goal to our left. The crowd setting back now to enjoy the skills of these outstanding players. This is Junior. João Pinto will take the throw for the rest of the world. João Pinto from Portugal. Indeed, he figured in their World Cup success in the week against Switzerland. Silas with a header away to Renato. Here's Silas again. Certainly a player who features in their international squad and he was around for the World Cup in 86 too. But here's Renato now. Did well to get his cross in too. Oh, and it almost fell for Zico. But what a start that would have been for the Brazilian if he'd have scored in the very first minute. Ridvan now, who plays for Turkey. And he's been very much a part of their renaissance. Turkey with a genuine chance now of qualifying for the World Cup Finals after their recent win away from home against East Germany. Michel Prudhomme of Belgium to Jean Pinto of Portugal. This is De Tari, the Hungarian. Francesco Lee. Jean Pinto has made a foraging run down the flank. Well covered though by Ricardo. Friendly push from João Pinto. And Zico himself. In roar from the crowd. Read his every move. I'm sure you can hear in the background the beat of the drums, which always accompanies Brazilian matches. It certainly adds to the atmosphere too. <laughs> uh, 
Hope now. Now for Roberto. To Silas. Nico. Charlie missed his tackle, so now a chance for Silas. Zico with him. Silas going on. Tackle was from De Mol. And the referee says a fair one too. Handshakes all round. Valderrama to Francesco Lee. Shot charged down from the Uruguayan. safely in the arms of Gilmar, the Brazilian goalkeeper. Famous name from the past. He is named after Gilmar from the 50s and 60s. Great Brazilian side that they produced. The likes of Pelé, of course. Zico through to Renato. Woodhurn came swiftly out of his area, the six-yard area. I don't think the flag had gone up then as Renato went through. Very nearly an early break, great pass from Zico. That's an excellent goalkeeping two from Prudhoe. Deitari is his club football now in Greece. Valderrama. Goes up to steer the ball back to Gilmar. Roberto. The Brazilians with a new coach these days, Lazzaroni, who they've taken out of club football in Saudi Arabia. Perhaps a sign of the times, they really wanted Carlos Alberto Ferreira, who's out in Saudi Arabia, but they couldn't afford him. Far too expensive. Lazzaroni endeavouring to get a squad together in time for the World Cup qualifying matches. They've got an important one coming up against Venezuela in July. And they're certainly treating this match seriously as it's one of their warm-up matches towards that game. They also have a European tour. 19th there was Jarowski, the Yugoslav. Dunga. Renato going down. And the free kick awarded to Brazil. Tackle from De Mol of Belgium. Renato has had a bit of a disappointing season, really, with Roma. They'd expected great things of him, and he hasn't really come off. Neither has Andrew Day, the other Brazilian with Roma. It's Bikunga with the free kick. Oh, and he scored! Oh, a magnificent goal from Dunga. Well, isn't that just typical of the Brazilian style? Down the years, they've scored so often from set pieces like that. Whether it be Pelé or Zico or Tostao or Gerson. And this time it's Dunga showing that he could do it too. It's a magnificent strike. Round the wall and in off the bar with Prudhoe sprawling across and can't make the save. So Dunga, after six minutes, has given Brazil the lead here against the rest of the world. Dunga from Fiorentina, the Italian club. This is Ridvan. Stankovic to Detari. It was a brilliant goal scored by Dunga. The crowd celebrated a glorious piece of skill. Silas with the pass to Renato. This is Valdo. Trying to send Renato clear. Geretz, the Belgian, is the defender. Veteran international Eric Geretz now playing with PSV Eindhoven in Holland. This is João Pinto. Fica and Portugal. Francesco Lee plays his club football in France now for Racing Club Paris. 
Here's Junior. Give it away then by De Mole. Zico's pass. Such instinctive play from him. Pareko with the cross. Is this two? Off the bar, Renato. He was so unlucky then. Superb cross of Kareka after Zico had sent him away. And that was outstanding approach play from the Brazilians. And they very nearly had a second goal. Deitari. This is Valderrama. Deitari again. Very much involved in these early stages for the rest of the world side. So to Valderrama. But the Brazilians come away with Zico. Now Silas, Renato. Roberto steaming outside him here. He's got his cross into Prudho, holding on well. Here we can see again the moment when Renato so nearly got a second goal. Off the bar. And the cross from Correca really exposing the rest of the world defence. Here's Zico, plenty of space. Again, such a useful combination. There's no offside flag, but there is now. But again, the Brazilians threatening to pull the opposition apart with some lovely one-two combinations. Valderrama to Francesco Lee, two South Americans combining. Francesco Lee beaten this time. This is Valdo. Zico losing control for once. Valdo Rama. Good tackle. Here's Renato. proving quite a menace down this right flank teasing Gerets couldn't get past him though <laughs> tackle was from Dunga the scorer of the only goal so far the Brazilians leading them by a goal to nil and that goal coming after six minutes this is Ridvan of Turkey for the rest of the world Moza. Zico to Junior. Roberto to Silas. Gerets, the defender. Here's Gerets again. Deitari. Transfer fee of four and a half million pounds. Deitari into Greek football. We can get the third most expensive player in European football behind Maradona and Hullet. Dunga. Kareka on the break. Is this two? Good save by the goalkeeper. Oh, very nearly gave it away, but Kareka was through then. And he'll be disappointed. He's been absolutely lethal in Italian football this season. One of the leading scorers in the league, and he really should have had one then. Racing clear. Got away from Jao Pinto, but not from Prudhoe. Silas. Certainly the more enterprising approach play has come from the Brazilians. Silas. Could be a chance here for Zico. Renato. Well, in 
fairness to the rest of the world side, they obviously haven't played together all that often, and they are looking in disarray at times. And it's Renato here with a shot that I think goes off Zico. Goal kick to the rest of the world. Put home from Mechelen, the goalkeeper. Kareka with the throw to Valdo. Junior. Maybe a veteran now, but he still has the skill. And what a marvellous servant he's been to Brazilian football down the years. Joe, Joe! Hey, Junior will be taking go, go. the free kick for Brazil now. Moser, the central defender, has come up. Renato with a header. And Zico couldn't quite stretch to reach it. 35 years old now, Zico. And what entertainment he's given to supporters all over the world down the years. Deitari. Shirovsky. Plays for Red Star Belgrade in Yugoslavia. Roberto has got caught then. Aguas, Portugal. Valderrama. And a foul then on the Colombian. Derrett's taking the free kick quickly to Detari. Ritvan was in a lot of space over on the far side. But the ball given away to Junior. And Gilmar, so far not really extended in the Brazilian goal. Moza, Dunga, and Junior, leaving it in fact here for Kureka. De Bol steering the ball back to Prudhoe. Gerritz. Roberto. Support here now then from Zico. Valdo has gone outside him. Zico going on. And the crowd were willing him to score then, but Zico couldn't keep his shot down. Hoping there that a way to goal might just have opened up for him. Zico, who makes only the occasional appearance now for Flamengo, back in Brazil. But what an impact he's made through the years for his club there. And twice he's been named South American Footballer of the Year too, Zico. Francesco Lee, who's had that honour himself too. Get it, slot throw. Roberto slipping at the vital moment. Francesco Lee. Brazilians looking organised at the back and hoping to launch an attack themselves now with Valdo. Junior's pass spread it through, but Xiao Pinto in possession for the rest of the world. Teitari. This is De Mole. Who won't be too pleased with that pass. And they haven't really got their act together yet, the rest of the world side. A lot of talent, of course, in the team, but as a unit, not really functioning so far. And the Brazilians deservedly leading by the early goal from Dunga. This is Roberto. Now Silas. Zico. Binding well with Renato. 
a chance, and he couldn't put it away. And again, Zico involved in the build-up. He had such vision, and he put Renato clear then, and his shot couldn't beat the goalkeeper. Here's Geretz. Jurovsky under pressure from Koreka. De Mol. Valderrama caught in possession, but he's got the free kick. Ridvan. Here's Valdo. He's had a very successful season with Benfica, who looks set to win the Portuguese Championship. Now Zico. Careca. Zico again. Just look at that pass. Silas couldn't quite reach it in the end, but Zico is turning the ball in his direction almost without thinking, it seemed. Such an instinctive player, and Silas, well, a pity he couldn't make more of it. Geretz. Francesco Lee has given it away. Roberto. Now Renato. He's been a constant danger. Or a foul, but not Roberto. Lunging tackle. And Roberto back on his feet. As he tried to get away from Jarofsky, he was clearly tripped. Silas with the free kick. Valdo shot. Way over the bar. Feels for a corner, but not given by Luigi Agnolin, the Italian referee. to the rest of the world. We'll be hoping to make a little more impact at the other end. They haven't really stretched the Brazilians at all so far. Junior to Valdo. Here's Careca. Some neat little combinations there working. Zico, Careca going on. Oh, and again, exemplary goalkeeping by Prudhoff. Who at the moment is keeping the score down. It was a splendid save then from Careca to deny the Brazilians a second goal. But just look at the touch-off there from Zico. Careca going through, and the goalkeeper just steering the ball past the post. And Careca, disappointment for him. And so far in this game, he's been thwarted by the goalkeeping of Prudhoff. to Junior Dunga it's an outstanding touch play from the Brazilians very much in the style that we've come to expect from them down the years Renato's cross a header from Careca he hasn't featured in the international side for a while Careca since his move to Italy but they've Brought him back into the squad now. They clearly they intend to use him as a key player. The Brazilians often seem to forget players who've gone to play for club sides abroad. But they're going to make an exception, it seems, in the case of Careca. And you can't blame them, really. He's such a gifted striker. Mexican wave that we witnessed during the World Cup finals in Mexico in 1986. Ridvan has gone past Junior. Four white shirts waiting in the middle. Gilmar 
just managed to make contact. And then the ball fell kindly for him. Another of the Brazilians who plays his club football in Portugal. He had to stretch then. Gerets just in before Kureka. Lazzaroni, the Brazilian coach, on the bench there with the array of substitutes that I'm sure we're going to see later in the game. Although both sides are clearly taking the match very seriously, it is an opportunity to experiment. Valderrama with Ridvan going on now. And Francesco Lee, and he scored. It's 1-1. One, one. The Uruguayan Francesco Lee. Good play down there, right flank then by Ridvan. Gilmar couldn't hold the shot from Ridvan. And Francesco Lee was in the right place to score. Valderrama involved early on in the move. Ridvan going away there. Gilmar could only parry the shot, and Francesco Lee scores. Good work by Ridvan. Well, they haven't honestly threatened all that often before. But they've shown there the quality finishing that was necessary to break down the Brazilians. And Francesco Lee makes it 1-1. One -one. Now that's given them heart quite clearly. Glass forcing the corner. Rui Aguas from Benfica, the current Portuguese international. Deitari with the corner. Approaching the end of the first half now then. Stoikovic trying to wriggle through succeed and here's Valdo for Brazil Zico and offside against Renato but now much more even contest with a goal that's leveled the scores Valdo to Zico Is Kareka. Lovely flick. Renato offside, but again a delightful piece of skill from Kareka. And Renato, not for the first time in this game, caught offside. Deitari. Jean Pinto to Ridvan. Stoikovic. Ridvan rather tamely. And here's Kareka. As the Brazilians look for a second goal before half time. Junior. In for Zico. Renato in the middle. Zico wriggling off. And very nearly got through. Put home once again to the rescue. But the crowd warmly applauding the skill of Zico. The old legs may not carry him so quickly now, but the skill is still there. Just look at this here. Hey, go, go. Glorious play from Zico, and he couldn't quite squeeze the ball in at the near post. Roberto. Renato, offside, is he? No, the flag had stayed down. And the rest of the world side almost got caught out again. Closing stages here of the first half. Deitari. Valderrama was dispossessed. Here's Seco. Valdo had made the run outside him, but here's Silas. And again, the goalkeeper tested. Seco. And Prudhoff gets a second chance. But a bit of a let-off again for the rest of the world. 
as Luigi Agnoli blows the match to the Brazilian Zico. The half-time score, Brazil won, the rest of the world won. And as we anticipated in the second half, there are a number of changes, especially in the Brazilian side. They've taken the opportunity to experiment, as we thought they would do. Among the players they brought in, Alamau, who plays his club football for Napoli in Italy. He's come on in the second half. And the changes to the rest of the world side, just three substitutions. Mihailovic, the Yugoslav, Tanju from Turkey has come in too, and the goalkeeping change, Desayev, the Soviet Union goalkeeper, takes over from Michel Prudhomme. So I wonder how this second half is going to shape up with all the changes. This is Francesco Lee, scorer of the goal for the rest of the world. After Dunga had given Brazil the lead. Francesco Lee, Julio Cesar, the huge central defender, is now on for Brazil. You may well remember him from the World Cup. And in goal in the second half, Xiao Leite has taken over from Gilmar. This is Alamau, who's had his problems with illness this season. Indeed, he's missed much of the campaign through hepatitis. Now back, hoping to feature again in the Brazilian setup. João Pinto with the intervention. Now, can he set something going here for the rest of the world? He certainly improved as the first half wore on as they began to get used to each other's play. Lamau there with a good tackle. The Brazilians though in control for much of the first half. Here's Romario from PSV Eindhoven in Holland. Junior. of the world coming away with it now with Mihailovic here's Stoikovic tremendous atmosphere in the stadium Milton for Brazil here's Zico now to Junior to see now what's happening there's so much smoke around the stadium Zico I'm all for people celebrating but I think this has got slightly out of hand here trying to see what's going on from one end of the field to the other And Alamau went in very hard indeed. He's got hurt for his troubles. Kareka there looks rather concerned. And Alamau, who only recently returned to duty, as I was saying, after illness, has now got a problem with an injury. There's the cause of some of the smoke around the ground. Alamau at last ready to continue. Some of the smoke now at last clearing. Here's Zico. Kareka. Get the combination with Zico. Now Kareka. Can he finish here? Good save by Desayev. Soviet Union goalkeeper, one of the world's best, of course. Now plays his club football for Seville in Spain. I'm told he's paid around £200 a week, and that's about 10% of the money that goes to the Soviet FA. That's it. Opa. Zico. Here's Careca. He's been so prominent for Napoli in the Italian league. Napoli in second place. Zico, offside. It won't count. I think some of the crowd had spotted the flag, but certainly the referee Luigi Agnolin had. One of the game's most experienced officials. 
wouldn't have counted. The flag was up well before the shot. Alamau has done well, and Kareka with the header. He's so dangerous around the six-yard area, Kareka. From Alamau's cross. His header unable, though, to beat Dasayev. Good positive play, though, down the flank by Alamau. Here's Demo for the rest of the world. Now, this is promising. Francesco Lee looking to take on Julio Cesar. Tanju Kolak. Well, he's the European Gold Boot Award winner. It's Tanju Kolak from Turkey. 39 goals he scored last season. And he wasn't too far away then. Francesco Lee doing well. Kolak had taken up a good position then. Superb skill from Francesco Lee. Tanju Kolak. Francesco Lee. Now, Stoikovic. Might have been a chance and it's gone in. The goal from Detari. Well, they've been threatening for a few minutes now. It was Stoikovic who got away down the right. Detari who finished off the move. The Brazilian struggling to get it away and the goalkeeper couldn't hold it. Stoikovic with time to cross the ball in accurately. Mihailovic missed his kick here. But Tatari with a shot that the goalkeeper couldn't prevent from going in. So the rest of the world, having struggled early on, now find themselves leading here by two goals to one. Goal from Tatari on 64 minutes. Obviously all the changes in the second half has unsettled the Brazilians and their rhythm, but here's Zico now. A good save by Desayev. Well, Zico so anxious to cap his finale performance with a goal. But denied by Desayev. Zico with room for the shot. And Desayev stretching to tip the ball over the bar. Superb strike by Zico. Alabao with the corner. Moser is up. This is Julio Cesar. Romario. Again, a tidy combination. Here's Zico. Going to shake off De Mole. For once, his skill unable to provide an opening. Detari. Tanju Kolak with the pass back. And the free kick given. And the foul by Andre Aguas. Aguas, whose father was a famous Portuguese footballer too, from the 60s, a right winger. And it'll be Deitari, the Hungarian, who will be taking the free kick. As the rest of the world look to build on their lead. Not a bad effort either from Deitari. There's the free kick. Might well have taken a deflection there. So the Brazilians now looking for an equaliser with Zico. Flag was up anyway for offside over on the far side. 
Stajkovic. Francesco Lee to Detari. But offside. And before play can go on, Zico is going to leave the field now. He's going to be substituted with 12 minutes to go. Leaving the field to a tremendous reception from the crowd. Spectators that he delighted here with his spell with Udinese. And as he goes off to be replaced by Douglas, just listen to the applause ringing around the stadium. For a truly magnificent player, Zico, his farewell appearance. Zico has now left the field. To an ovation he'll remember, I'm sure, for some time to come. Jao Pinto waits to take the throw for the rest of the world. Just a few minutes to go now, then, as Brazil again on the attack now. This is Milton. Chance here. Oh! Well, I was going to say to safety, but somehow they have survived. My word, that was close to an equaliser then for Brazil. Milton was hurt in the build-up. Desai have beaten by the shot. Almost got a hand to it, but back off the post. And there you can see the ball going right across the face of the goal. Desayev, well, a lucky man then. But the score stays at 2-1 to the rest of the world. Stajkovic to Jao Pinto. Detari. Policed here by Julio Cesar, but here's Tanju Kolak. Once again, he's been in exactly the right place. Set up by Datari here. But Tanju Kolak, who's played such a major role in the revival of Turkey as a force in world football, unable to hit the target then. Intervention was from De Mole. Milton. Now can they work something here? There's some pushing going on on Xiao Pinto. So a free kick to the rest of the world. We look now to be heading for victory in this tribute game to Zico. His farewell appearance in Italy. And we've certainly seen some outstanding moments of skill from both sides. And not least from this man, Desayev, with some outstanding saves in the second half. Two number 17s together. Alamao winning out for Brazil. Featured in the 1986 World Cup Finals in Mexico. Milton, another player who enjoys his club football in Italy. And he certainly has been enjoying it this season. He's been ever present in the Como side. Not all the Brazilians tend to settle in Italy, but clearly he has. Milton. Moza plays for Benfica in Portugal. Brazilians probing hard for an equaliser, but it's been denied them so far. And the rest of the world attacking themselves now with Tanju Kolak. Get it. The game almost down to walking pace now. As we see out the last few minutes. Come on, come on. Jao Pinto 
to Stojkovic. And the rest of the world side just happy to retain possession and contain the Brazilians. They might yet still have some defending to do. Zico looking on from the sidelines. And the header saved by Desaev, who's been equal to everything that the Brazilians can throw at him in the second half. The goalkeeper perfectly placed to make the save. Gerets to De Mol, two Belgians. Milton. Tackle was from De Mole, and he clearly caught him on the shin then. As Milton tried to go through. Well, I'm sure all the players tonight have relished the opportunity to support Zico in this game, but they didn't come into it wanting to pick up an injury. Poor old Milton does seem to be in a little bit of trouble at the moment. So at last Milton is back on his feet and we're ready to resume with the free kick to Brazil, but we're now into the last few seconds of the game. Just a little bit of time to be added on for stoppages. As referee Agnolin makes sure that wall is far enough away. Here's the free kick. The wall did its job perfectly. But there's the final whistle, it's all over, and the rest of the world have come back strongly to beat Brazil, eventually losing two goals to one to the rest of the world. Let's now relive some of the magical moments from Zico's farewell performance in Italy. Ridvan going on now, and Francesco Lee, and he scored, it's 1-1. One, one. Francesco Lee, now Stojkovic, a bit of chance and it's gone in, the goal from Detani. The next big soccer match on Eurosport is the first leg of the UEFA Cup Final on Wednesday night. Feel the reigning Irish League champion.